Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Remember the other day when we pulled the pump from the crawl space in Ormond Beach and that pump had been running for 5,400 hours. I mean, 5,400 hours. That's a long time. This is how you could fix that pump. So this is an emergency repair. Perhaps uh, you're way out in the country. There's no hardware store available to get a temporary pump and you need to get that water out of there. Uh, something else I want to stress real quick is that we do not resell this pump. I'll get this pump to work. I know I can. And but we don't resell it. I might use it, you know, as a temporary backup pump um, to help pump out a flooded crawl space, but I would never sell this to another customer. That's just wrong. And I know that there's some people out there that do this, uh, give you a lot of misinformation about things. Um, be very careful. Okay, remember we pulled this pump. Um, this has over 5,400 hours on it and it's burned out. So let's see what we can do. C can we repair this pump? We do not, you know, Apple Drains, <laughs> we do not resell a pump like this. But I just want to give you the video so you can see. We'll start by cleaning it off. Just wash it off. We're not going to, you know, scrape it or paint it, anything like that. Just so we can work on it. It's got a lot of rust and things like that. Clean off the impeller. All the bottom of it. Maybe a little bit on the float. Just kind of get it so we don't have to get all dirty as we work on it. Remember, this pump is heavy. Okay, great. Okay, remember from the previous video where we pulled this pump from a crawl space that flooded and this pump pumped for 5,400 hours. <laughs> That's a long time, you guys, a long time. And what we're doing is we're going to find out what's going on with it. Why, is, why does it stop pumping? And what I want to do is I'm going to take this bottom plate off and check that impeller. And there are four screws that hold this together. And they're usually pretty loose. They're not really a problem. So I'll probably cut the video short here and come right back. Just loosen them all up so we can get right to that impeller. Okay, like I said, there's four screws that hold this bottom plate on. Let's pull the last one. And then there's also a screw that holds the float mechanism in place. So we're going to pull that as well, just because it's kind of in the way. And it's just a piece of leather, uh, hard plastic that holds all that together because it's got a lot of movement. What an ingenious idea. So now we need, need to pop this plate off of here. And a couple ways you can do it is, you know, try to get your screwdriver down inside there. And you can see it pops right off. A lot of crud in here, but we have a free turning impeller. You see that? This thing's turning freely. What does that mean? What does that mean? So we've, we're going to do some more tests, but I'll bet you that the shaft, the motor inside is truly burnt, but we're going to check it out to make sure. I don't really want to take the housing off because if I do, all the dielectric fluid is going to come all out and it makes a real mess. But before we do that, let's go ahead and just see if we can get this thing to kick on. What I'm gonna do is plug the pump in. Sorry. I'm gonna plug the pump in and I'm gonna kick on the switch. Oh, could you see that? See how it starts to try to move? There it goes. So, what does that tell me? Okay. That tells me that there's a lot of crud that has been sucked up into the shaft. And if we let this run for a little while, wash it out, this pump will continue to function. Remember that we do not put these pumps, I don't resell these pumps at all. This pump I would use for an emergency, just like we went to that crawl space and use it to pump out the water. But I wouldn't sell it to somebody. And if you're a, a contractor and you see this video and you learn how to do this, don't resell this pump. It's, you're just begging for problems uh, customer-wise, and of course, you're, you'll end up going back to have to fix it again. So, but pretty cool. I mean, you can see it's got a lot of crud down there. But it's a very strong impeller. See that? Very strong impeller. Working really good. Let's turn it back off. Okay, cleaned it all off, and everything's really working great. But again, we don't resell these pumps, and I hope that the other people that watch this video 
I really hope they don't resell them either. Okay, I cleaned it all off, put the housing back in there again, tighten up a few more screws. And again, this is just a great little fix. Let's just say that it's uh, a holiday. I don't know, maybe you live someplace that's really far to go to a hardware store to get a replacement pump, or, you know, even a temporary pump. So I showed you how you can get that impeller to spin. More than likely, the bushings are bad on this. And like I say, we do not resell these pumps. And I really hope that these other channels that are out here, if they, you know, a lot of people like to copy the video, try to make something like mine, that they don't try to resell their pumps because it's really a bad practice. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Don't forget about live help, video consultation via Skype or FaceTime. We can answer any question, help with project planning, perhaps even find you some labor. Sign up online.